Hello everyone. Welcome to Renu Math. Today in this video we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equations. So there are three methods to solve quadratic equations. The first one is the factorization method. The second one is by completing the squares and the third one is by using the quadratic formula. In this video we will be learning all three methods and will be solving two examples of each method. So let's begin with our first method which is solving the quadratic equation by factorization. Our first question is x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 and we need to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Roots means the two solutions of this equation as it is a quadratic equation it will have two solutions. Most of the time a quadratic equation will have two solutions. There are special cases when it will have no solution or single solution. We are not going to discuss about that. We are going to solve this equation by factorization. This method we use factors to find the roots or solution of this quadratic equation. For finding the factors we are going to take the product of first term and the last term that is the coefficient of x square which is 1 and the last term which is the constant is negative 10. So the product is negative 10. So we have to first find the factors of 10. So factors of 10 are 5 and 2 and 10 and 1. Out of these factors we have to take such a pair such that the sum of the factors is equal to negative 3. So the product of the two factors should be equal to the constant term which is negative 10 and their sum should be equal to negative 3 the coefficient of x or the middle term. The factors which satisfy these conditions are 5 and 2. So now we will take our equation. We are going to break this middle term and write it in terms of 5 and 2 which are the factors of negative 10. So here minus 5x and minus 2x will give us minus 3x and their product negative 5 and 2 will give us negative 10. So both the conditions are satisfied. Now we can write negative 10 and can solve it further. So out of these two terms we are going to take x common. So this will be x, x minus 5 and out of these two terms we can take 2 common. So plus 2 x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now one more thing is that you can write 5x and 2x in any sequence. You can write plus 2x minus 5x or minus 5x plus 2x. That will not going to change the solution or answer of the equation. Take x minus 5 as common. So x minus 5 and here we are going to left with x plus 2. For finding the roots either x minus 5 is equal to 0. From this we will get x is equal to 5 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. From this we are going to get x is equal to negative 2. Two roots of the equation are negative 2 and 5. Our second example is 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So the difference between this equation and this equation is that in the second equation we have coefficient of x square as 2 whereas in the first equation we have coefficient of x square as 1. First we are going to take the product of coefficient of x square and the last term which is the constant. So the product is negative 6 times 2 which is equal to negative 12. Now we need to find the factors of 12 such that their product is equal to negative 12 and their sum is equal to 1 which is the coefficient of this middle term. X. The factors of 12 are 6 and 2, 3 and 4, 12 and 1. So out of these factors, the only factors which satisfy the condition of product as negative 12 and sum as 1 are 3 and 4. So we are going to take 3 and 4 as the factors. We need plus 1. So we are going to take plus 4x, negative 3x, negative 6 is equal to 0. Plus 4x minus 3x is equal to x and 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Both the conditions are satisfied. Now we can solve it further. 
so we can take 2x common here so this will be x plus 2 and from here we can take minus 3 common so this will be x plus 2 so out of these two we can take x plus 2 common and the other term will be 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 now either x plus 2 is equal to 0 which will give us x as equal to negative 2 or 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 from which we will get x is equal to 3 divided by 2 or 3 by 2. So these are the two roots of this equation. So here we have solved the quadratic equation using the method of factorization. Let's move on to our second method of solving quadratic equation which is by completing the squares. So our first example in solving the quadratic equation by completing the squares is 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8. As there is a fraction in the equation we can take the LCM and can simplify this. So LCM will be 8. So this will become 16x square 8 times 2 is 16 minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we will cross multiply. So this 8 will get multiplied to 0 and we are left with 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. This is our quadratic equation and we need to find the solution of this equation by completing the squares. Now we are going to compare this equation with the whole square equation which is a plus b whole square is equal to plus 2ab plus b square. Now we have a square term as 16x square so we can write it as 4 times x whole square minus this is 8x and we need to write it in terms of 2 times a times b. So we can write it as 2 times 4x, x a is 4x and b as it is 8x and our term is complete so b should be 1 plus 1 square is equal to 0. So this is of the form a square plus 2ab plus b square so we it can be written as a plus b whole square as it is negative 2 so this will be 4x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 which is equal to 4x minus 1 times 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 both the roots are equal so equation will have only one solution 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 which will give us x is equal to 1 by 4 let us solve one more example to clarify this further so our second example is 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here too we are going to compare this equation with a minus b whole square. So a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So first term is 100x square which can be written as 10x whole square. The middle term is 2 times a times b. So we can write it as 2 times 10x times b will be 1 cause 2 times 10x is 20x and we got the middle term so our third term or the b square term will be 1 plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So this is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square which can be written as a minus b whole square or 10x minus 1 whole square which is equal to 10x minus 1 times 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this also will have only one solution to the equation which is same and 10x minus 1 is equal to 0 will give us x is equal to 1 by 10. So this is the solution to the equation. This is the second way in which we can find the solution to the quadratic equation. Now we will solve few examples of the last method of solving quadratic equation which is by using the quadratic formula. 
So our first equation is 2x square minus 6x plus 3 and the quadratic formula we are going to use is x is equal to negative b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So first we'll find a, b and c in the equation. So we are going to compare this equation with standard quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So by comparing we are going to get a as 2, b is equal to negative 6 and c is equal to 3. Now we'll substitute these values in the formula. So x will be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a which is 2. So negative times negative 6 will be 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24 divided by 4. So this is equal to 6 plus minus 36 minus 24 is equal to 12. So x is equal to 6 plus minus 12 can be simplified as 3 times 4 divided by 4. And this 4 will come out. So this will be 6 plus minus 2 root 3 divided by 4. We are going to take 2 common here. So this will be 3 plus root 3 divided by 4 and this 2 and 4 get simplified to 3 plus minus sorry plus minus root 3 divided by 2. So now we have either x is equal to 3 plus root 3 divided by 2 or x is equal to 3 minus root 3 divided by 2. These are the two solutions to this equation. This is how we can use quadratic formula and find the solution. Let us solve one more example and find the solution to the quadratic equation. So our first step is to compare this equation with the standard equation. The standard equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we are going to get a as 3, b as negative 4 root 3 and c as 4. Now our formula is x is equal to negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we are going to substitute the values in the formula. So this will be negative negative 4 root 3 plus minus square root of negative 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 times 3 times 4 divided by 2 times 3. So this negative and negative will become positive. So this is 4 root 3 plus minus root of square root of this is 4 square is 16. 16 times 3 is 48 minus 4 times 3. So this is also 48 divided by 6. This gives us 4 root 3 divided by 6 which is equal to if we will simplify it. So this will be 2 root 3 divided by 3. So there is only one value of x which is 2 root 3 divided by 3. We can solve it further and this will be 2 divided by root 3. So this is how we can find the solution using the quadratic formula. So in this video we have discussed all the three methods of finding the solution to a quadratic equation. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.